start there. So you will hear probably some things in the media about, you know, public forums or me or board trying to censor people. Not at all. I want every citizen to be able to speak in public forum, but I want it addressed first at the most appropriate level. And I don't mean that just for teachers. I mean that for parents. I don't want a parent who had a problem with their teacher coming to the board first when that teacher or principal didn't have a chance to talk about it. You know, and there are some people that can try to go, and I don't want anybody jumping through 10 levels of hoops. But I want that initial contact to happen, and I want to go back, if it didn't get an appropriate response, I want to go back and, and have somebody in administration be able to go to that principal and say, what did you do with this? What could you have done? What should we do? So um, I don't foresee the board getting rid of public forums. I see it continuing in their community engagement to try to bring people in. But I do foresee us trying to get word out at the school level first. And it's kind of like... Karen, can I say something? As a parent, um, I, you know, I cruised along. I watched it. I didn't really start paying attention. I realized so many teachers were coming to the Board mm -hmm. of Education meeting. That sent out alarm bells. Sure. In my, something's up. Something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Something people are upset about. Right. If teachers aren't coming to the Board of Education meeting to let us know what's going on, we as parents don't know because they aren't going to tell us in the classroom, well, this is what's going on in my classroom no, and I'm really angry about either. it. They're, they're not going to do that. They know that's not professional, but they need an outlet somewhere. And I would not have known what was going on had I not heard what was going on at the meeting. So I'm not sure that I agree with you. Maybe, <coughs> yeah, go to the principal and this is what's going on, but I'm taking it, to, I'm voicing it um, because we need that light because the sooner, the, as loud as that got, it got some, some response from you guys to get together and start thinking, okay, this is the bad side of what we've done. This is, we had this vision, and this has gone off the rails, and you have to address it, which I'm hoping that as a group you are addressing it. Our children suffer when the teachers are unhappy. I agree. Um, and uh, I don't want to see that. So let me propose the counter to you. Because if you go back, and I have gone back and listened to all of those again, but if you go back and you listen to the November, December one, count how many teachers started with, I haven't said anything for five years, but, I haven't said anything for three years, but, if we had a system that was responsive, our kids wouldn't have had to deal with that. Our teachers wouldn't have had to get to the boiling point. That's what generated in me. I think what happened in November, December needed to happen. I think, I, I frankly was incredibly engaged at that point because what it said to me loud and clear is we don't have a system in place to respond to our, appropriately to our employees' concerns. And our employees don't feel like they can voice their concerns until they get to the point where it's just overflowing. So I would counter that with if we would respond and if we can set a culture where there is communication back and forth and a freedom to say, this is my area of expertise. Let me show you what this is doing to my kids and what I think might be better. And then you have your academic leaders in your building who take that seriously. Well, I think that is the key, is will you have that taken seriously? Will you, is, was there some part of the fact that so many teachers showed up and they were so angry that there was public pressure that kind of came to bear on you to make a change that may not have occurred if they were just kind of, you were hearing dribs and drabs and, and... Well, I think if we only hear dribs and drabs, you're right, we won't. But I also think that there are many of those issues that could have and should have been addressed much more appropriately um, in a system that is responsive to its employees. And so when I talk about service excellence, that's the responsiveness. All right, this is my question then. How as a parent do I know that that's what's happening? Well, I think you'll see it come out, you know, it'll come out again. If, 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 a, okay. if we get our principals to agree that this is their job, 
and and that's an administrative responsibility that at least I as a board member feel very strongly has to happen and a teacher does it and they're still frustrated and that doesn't mean they didn't you know, I, I think sometimes there's a difference between did you get what you want? I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So, you know, I think if they do that and they don't get a response, or the principal says I can't do anything about it, I give them free reign. Come to the board and say it again. But then at least I can go back and see. And, and I, I believe okay. honestly, the example was the sat tens that I heard from a teacher. She says I told her my concerns about it. And she said, you know what, I agree with you, but we can't do anything. I believe if she had written that down and gotten a written response, that principal would not have written that. I may be wrong. But if the principal does write that, then it gives this word an opportunity to say, where's the breakdown? Because if you as a principal agree that something's not right for a student and a teacher agrees okay. it's not right, you don't just quit there. Okay. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you look at a five-year plan, I think when I look at an organization and how it runs, there's a lot of things that run really smoothly and a lot of things that are done that are excellent in our school system. Yeah. Um, but I also think when I say teaching has changed, how you run a school has changed. Mm -hmm. 